Hey guys, Tezza here. I'm back with Disney Dreamlight Valley. Now, I haven't really done a lot since um, my last video, which was the day before yesterday, I think I did that. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've still got, might have been yesterday actually, I've got to, oh no, I think it was the day before yesterday because I forgot to come and water these again my pumpkins so let's just water these while I'm here oh I missed oh <laughs> not doing a very good job at this right now um I want to go and talk to Maui and do um the a feast worthy of a demigod um quest which I started the other day um I also did do a little bit of research I just um googled it really quickly about cooking um the nasty meal at um, in the dreamscape. Um, as far as I could see, a lot of people have had that problem. And apparently, if you use the autofill um, bit, then sometimes that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, Maui first and do a bit of that, and then I will head back to um, the dreamscape and see if I can cook the um, nasty meal. Right. So I'm guessing he's up here still. He might not be. Yes, he is still there. Right, let's talk to Maui. Hey, what took you so long? Let me get this straight. <laughs> Moana left kidding. me. <laughs> she just left to go to some village. It's a dream village. You can come too. You'll see her again. You can come too. Ooh. Right. You think I'm just going to follow Moana around like that chicken used to? <laughs> hey, hey. We need hey, hey in the game. I don't think so. Who cares? I'm hungry. The food in my village is amazing. I'm a great cook, worthy of a demigod, better than anything you've ever tasted. Worthy of a demigod. I'll be the judge of that. You want me to go to your village? Bring me some food. Let's see if it's up to my high standards. You're the real deal, okay. kid. Uh, prepare Maui meals with at least a three-star rating. Okay, so it doesn't matter what meal. Okay. Um. Do I have to go back home? Is there anywhere here where I can cook? Can't cook on, on anything, can I here? I don't remember if there is anything. Oh, there's a... <laughs> um, no, maybe there isn't. I wondered if there was like a little stove or something around where I could um, harvest some... Oh. Oh, my inventory is full. Why is it full? Okay, maybe I will drop the softwood because I have quite a lot of that. And I will harvest some more coconuts. Because why not? While I'm here. Um, no, I don't think there is a stove or anything here, is there? So, I'll have to go back home. Maui. Let me just double check everywhere because if I can then I will but I didn't know if I saw somewhere before to cook on but um, it must be getting muddled up with somewhere else so it doesn't look like I can. No. Okay. Let's head back and cook Maui some food. Okay, so I presume I do have to cook them. I can't just go and get them out of my fridge. <laughs> Is that being lazy? <laughs> it's being a little bit lazy. Um... I am going to go back home and see though, because <laughs> if I can then that will save me using more of my ingredients up. But I don't know if it will 
count. Um, right, so what have we got? Um, oh, I need to need to just get rid of some things. What's in this chest? Is there anything? Is there anything I can put into any of these chests? Ah, good. Right, that's two things. Maybe I'll put the cheese in here. Um, ginger, I'll just shove in there for now. Um, so that should give me enough room for three. So can I? Can I? Yes, I can. See, preparing things is good. What have I got here? Grilled veggie platter, seafood platter. Veggie pasta. I like the. I feel like that one. He might like the seafood soup. Good. Could have got him the seafood. Not the seafood platter, the other one. Yeah, we'll do those. Okay, well, that saves me getting some more ingredients for now. So. <laughs> I cheat a little bit. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> it's okay, he won't realise that it's reheated. It's fine. <laughs> right, bring Maui all the meals. So I'm hoping Maui does come to the village. But I don't know what he would live in. Would he live in that cave? In the film, he's in that cave, isn't he? I wonder what his um, house will look like if he does come to the village, uh, the valley. Right. Yeah. There you go. You got a dessert, a sort of a starter, and a main. Oh, hey, starter. what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> Just what took me so hmm. long? Rude. Right, so tell me about this village that Moana, that's Moana's new favourite place. I'm supposed to rule the village, but I don't know where to start. I'm fighting against the gang. I just want some awesome people near me. Aww. Um, don't really know which oh, just what after. Do do? A mystical danger, huh? I've fought my share of those. Demons, giant crabs, storms, you name it. Don't believe me? Just check it. The, just check the tattoos. <laughs> I kind of want the, the guy, the, the tattoo guy, to move around. <laughs> I can see you need my help. You might not know much about me, but I guess I'd be willing to visit your little village. Could be fun. I'll make sure there's a place for you in the village that's worthy of a demigod. That's totally awesome. That's right near Moana's house. Ah, uh, that's worthy of a demigod. <laughs> Yeah, you do that. <laughs> yeah, okay, I will, ya. Maui. I will. Let's um, let's just turn the camera around so I can see where I'm going. <laughs> All right, let's let's go and place Maui's house. Grotto. Place the place the peaceful grotto in water. Oh, okay. So I have to place it in water. Okay. Um, I'll go and place it in the water on Dazzle Beach then. I didn't realise he would um, live in the water. Peaceful grotto in the water. Okay. Okie dokie then. Oh, I need to um, need to get rid of some more night thorns. I did manage to get rid of some because they um, were a um, a dream light thing. Um, duty was to get rid of some, um, but obviously I didn't get rid of any yesterday. Um, I came on for a 
bit and just um, check some things, but that was it, so I didn't I didn't go around and get rid of them all, so I do need to do that. But I do try and wait until I have... Ooh, it's big. I do try and wait until I have um, oh, the duty, just because then I get drink my for it. Um, I'm thinking... Hmm, what am I thinking? I was thinking out here somewhere, uh, but I can't, it won't go there. It will go here. Uh, let me spin around. So Ariel's, Ariel's castle's over there. So maybe, maybe somewhere here would be all right. Somewhere near. Moana. Um, I'm gonna put it there, see what it looks like, and then I can always move it um, if I don't like it. Um, I think that would be the best option. Uh, yeah, because it's kind of sort of out of the way here, so I can always Good I can always move it. So that's fine. I, in the past, Maui lived rough for a long time, but when it comes to his place here in the valley, spare no expense. Okay, 5,000, that's fine. Now that that's a fine quality place for Maui, I'm sure he'll be pleased. Hopefully. Ooh. What does it look like? Oh, it is! It's like the rock. Hey, I've got a job for you. Oh, yay! Welcome, Maui. Is it gonna do anything? Is <laughs> I thought it um, completely stops then. <laughs> Yay, Maui's here. Now I've got to make a horrible photo with him. Hello, look here. No, I don't want. I don't want your back. That'll do. There you go. <laughs> All my photos are terrible. <laughs> are you going to hell for now? Okay. Hello. Okay, it's a valley. You weren't kidding. You'll love it here. Finally, someone cool. Maybe you could teach me to shape shift. <laughs> well, that food you bought me was pretty good. Where can I find more of it? Whoa! Nice. Yay! Feast worthy of a demigod is done. And I now have Maui! <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> what is that? Okay. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Right, I am going to go back to the dreamscape and see if I can make that nasty... whatever it is. I did look up the pronunciation because it's French and I'm terrible at pronouncing English words, let alone French words, so <laughs> I did look it up. I think it's like, you, you kind of pronounce it like Bouillabaisse or something. Bouillabaisse? I don't know. I looked it up and um, yeah, that's that's the best I could come up with. Oh, hang on. What have I got in my pocket? I haven't really got anything I need to... I could sell the apples and the... Uh, I'll quickly sell the apples and the blueberries. How's it going? Is that a potato? Do I need to upgrade? If I upgrade it, do I get potatoes? That'd be quite cool, I can make new things. Okay, maybe I'll upgrade his store. Ooh, sell five fruit, yay! I like it when I get um, harvest coconuts. And sell five fruits. What else do I need to do? Feed a crocodile. I don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing the crocodiles eat fish. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I'll go there and because I've got to pick mushrooms and do the crocodile. So maybe I'll do that in a little while. How much is it to upgrade Goofy Stool oh, here? Greetings, neighbor. Ooh, twelve thousand. Okay, maybe I will wait. Bye -bye now. Maybe I will sell some of the pumpkins and things and then look at um, 
upgrading the stuff. Oh, it's a upgrading the stalls. Because there's a, a few stalls I need to go and upgrade, so um so yeah, maybe I should just make a load of money, go around and upgrade all these stalls. And also what I'd like to do is um open up all the fountains or the wells, not the fountains, the wells. Um yeah, I think I'd I'd like to do that, so I need to need to get some more money first. Right, let's see if this works then. If I auto oh, where am I going? If I auto fill it. Uh where is it? Oh, I'm here. Right, I'm the wrong side. I got really confused then. For some reason I thought I came in over this side. Um I got really confused where I was then. Right, let's see if this works. Um, so if I go recipes and then I go autofill. Oh, yay! Okay, so that does work. Um, so yeah, great. I managed to make it. Good. Yes. I've never used the autofill thing, I don't think, so I wasn't really sure. Um, but yeah, that, that trick worked. So if anyone else is having the same problem, just go autofill it and it should hopefully work. Uh, well, thanks, Tezza. But I was hoping we could cook it together. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. At least we can share it together, right? I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry. <laughs> you okay, pal? Uh, like anybody would understand, even if I could explain it to them. I'm fine. Oh, uh, alright. But you know, I'm always here if you need me. Oh. Now, I'm going to dig into this meal you cooked for me. I can't wait to try it. Oh, oh please don't. It smells kind of interesting. Maybe I'll just uh, save it for later. Must be one of those dishes that gets better after it sits for a bit. Say, I think Minnie was looking for you. You might want to go see what she wants. Goodbye. Okay, yeah, don't don't eat that. Just check it away. It's fine. Um, so Minnie wants to talk to me. Right, where's Minnie? That's Mickey. Where's Minnie? She's got to be around here somewhere. Is she over here still? Oh yeah, she's still over here. I just went the long way around. <laughs> You're here. You want something? Ooh. Oh yes, I do. Ugh, what's it going to be this time? I just want to tell you that you're loved. Oh. What I am? That's it. That's pretty cheesy. <laughs> of course, everyone here cares so much about you. You mustn't be afraid to let your friends know how you feel, even if you might feel a little silly doing it. I wish I could disappear. I feel like I'm stuck in between. Something is wrong. Aww. Tezza? It's fine. I'm fine. Thanks for the talk. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, what's happening? Oh. Oh. Okay. I uh, collect the memory of friendship. So is that how the? The orb of friendship got sort of destroyed or stuck. Okay. Okay, talk to the fairy godmother about what you learn. Hello, okay. child. You've returned. Splendid. Now, what did you learn inside? It was so strange. I felt everything the forgotten must have felt. The forgotten stopped being able to share their feelings, lost their excitement for life, seemed like just a moody teenager to me stopped being able to yeah 
the Forgotten were so sad and lonely and frustrated, but they couldn't seem to talk about it with anyone. Mm. Ah yes, sometimes the most painful thing to have a, is a friendly ear, when what you want is to be sure no one will hear. I fear that the key to stopping the Forgotten lies in another of these memories. Oh. But do you feel, at least, that you understand the Forgotten a bit better now? Yes. The Forgotten never asked to be stuck here. If I felt that lonely and frustrated, I guess I might do some of the things the Forgotten has done too. Many would, but just because we can understand the Forgotten doesn't mean we must agree with the path they walk down. Let's hope that the next memory holds the key to finding the Forgotten and helping them. Now, Tazza, follow me. There's so much more here to see. How splendid! Okay. Come back. I talked to Fairy Godmother at the next gateway. Okay. Hello, child. Goodness me, some very strong emotions are coming from the next archway. Mm. Whatever the Forgotten was trying to hide, there's quite a lot of anger and betrayal inside. There's only one thing to do. I must pass through. Uh, why don't you try becoming the Forgotten this time? Oh. <laughs> I couldn't have said better myself. Now, pass through the gate and discover what led the Forgotten to lose their their trusting spirit. Well, okay. that does it. Goodbye. Okay, so here we go. Where are we going this time? Oh, it's raining. Okay, uncover the forgotten second lost memory in the dreamscape. Mother Gothel wants something. Guess you should talk to her. Oh, okay. Am I in the? Oh, I'm in the glade. Okay, I didn't realise I was in the glade. So this is going to be about trust, isn't it? Yeah. Hello. Try and talk to. <gasps> what a pleasure. Just who was hoping to see, darling. Tell me, you've noticed all those ugly night thorns sprouting around the valley, and how some of the villagers are starting to lose their memories. <laughs> Merlin hasn't the faintest clue what might be causing it. <sighs> but don't worry, I won't tell him it's all your fault. My fault? I didn't do this. I knew it. My fault? <laughs> well, of course it is. Mm -hmm. This yeah. village clearly reflects you, your dreams, your desires, your fears. And we've all noticed that you haven't been yourself lately. What? No, I'm I'm fine. I don't know what's happened to me. Uh, I thought I was hiding it so well. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Uh, you mu mustn't lie to Mother Gothel. You know how I hate that. Uh. But don't worry, there's nothing wrong with you. You're simply growing up. <laughs> You're finally seeing the world for the cruel and dangerous place it is. Maybe you're right. But the world's not cruel and dangerous. Uh, you're starting to sound like a certain long-haired blonde person. <laughs> now trust me, after all, we must look out for ourselves. In fact, follow me, you have much to learn. And we're done talking. No, we're done talking. <laughs> okay, wait. Wait for me. Oh, hello dear. Here we are. Now, pay attention, dear. These pillars have been here for as long as anyone in the village can remember. <laughs> if you asked Merlin, he'd tell you they symbolise the virtues that hold this village together and protect it, blah, 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 blah. Oh, how that man loves to hear himself talk. <laughs> Don't insult Merlin. I guess he can be a lot <laughs> long-winded. What a pity. You still insist on defending Merlin, even though he he's done nothing but lie to you. Huh? What do you mean? Merlin told you that these pillars protect the village, but they don't. They only prevent brilliant people like us from reaching our full potential. Everything he's told you about light and dark magic, friendship, trust and so on, nothing more than lies to keep you under his control. I don't believe you, I, I know that must be right. What should I do? Right. I don't believe you. Well, there's one way to find out for sure. Rip the, rip the orb out of the pillar. Then you'll see what uh, the, 
what I'm saying is true. Ta -ta. Um, okay. The orb. Darling, you've done it. And not to worry, I'll dispose of it safely. Mustn't let it fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> now, see? Doesn't everything feel better without that pesky pillar getting in the way? I guess you're right. Everything feels the same. Something feels wrong. Um, something feels wrong? Wrong. Oh, don't be a fool. You've gotten far too used to the way things were. You'll understand soon enough. I can't wait to show you how much grander life can be when you aren't forced to live under Merlin's rules. But first, you'll have to do me one itsy bitsy favour. What is it? Oh great, another favour. <laughs> what is it? Oh, I do love how obliging you are, Tezza. You really should show... Sorry. You really should show this side of yourself more often. Now to the task in hand. I'm devastated that I've lost one of my most prized possessions, a jewel-encrusted mirror. I was admiring myself when I simply dropped it in the water somewhere around here. How clumsy of me. I'll get it, don't worry. Something here isn't adding up. Why don't you get a new mirror? Don't you trust me, Tezza? After all, I've done, after all I've done for you. Of course I do, it's just perfect. Then you'll have no more questions or objections. Finding my finding my jewel encrusted mirror will be no trouble of you. Simply use that fishing rod of yours in the water of this area. I'll be waiting for you near the giant willow, not doing anything suspicious. <laughs> I'm just teasing, darling. See you soon. Ta 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 Okay, fishing rod time. Okay, so it's gonna be here somewhere. Oops, I'm stuck on a rock. Stuck on a rock. Uh, I'm guessing I'm looking for like an orange bit. Uh, is that it? Oh, no, that's, that's completely the wrong way. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at fishing. I can never get my character straight, like, the right way. Right, that seems... Oh, no, I went too far. Ah, that's better. There you go. Got it. <laughs> I caught an old ball. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, okay. Doesn't look like I'm standing there. Okay. it in this little pond. Oh, I got that one in straight away. No, it's an old fuse. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm finding lots of random things that I don't want. Okay. Where? Where would it be? Is it across here then? So 
here. She said, near, like, somewhere near here, didn't she? So, I would guess it'd be like. I don't know. I don't know whether it would be, um. ripples or whether it'd be like um the little stars hmm. there's something over there but I don't seem to be able to get over oh, I can get over here okay well I'm gonna I'm gonna see if it's this Maybe the other things I'll need in a little while for something. Ah, jewel encrusted mirror. Good. Okay, so let's go and take this back to Mother Gothel near the big willow tree. My mirror, you found it. And so quickly, I knew I could count on you. The mirror is a piece of junk. What's your scheme? Uh, what's the big idea? <laughs> My scheme? That makes it sound so common. Oh, don't look so upset. You must stop taking everything so seriously. Now, shall I tell you my plan? You see, Tessa, I've always wondered if the dreamlike magic of yours might work like Rapunzel's magical hair. So I borrowed a little book from Merlin, traded for a few potions and ingredients from Ursula, <laughs> and now that the magic of the orb is gone, there's nothing to stop me from throwing it all together to keep you safe in the giant willow forever. It's for your own good, dear. The world outside is far too dangerous, trust me. It's better this way. You'll see, in time, that I can be a very loving mother. And that's how the... I guess that's how the dark curse in the glade started, wasn't it? Because Mother Gothel actually got stuck in there instead of the Forgotten. Back. Collect the memory of trust. Okay. okay, so I've got one more to go. Good, there you are. Goodness, what did you find in the forgotten second memory? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Not a ghost, just a gothel. <laughs> She betrayed the Forgotten. She showed the Forgotten how to be cruel. She led the Forgotten down a ba bad path. Well, she did kind of do all of those, but I suppose she betrayed them. Uh, the Forgotten trusted her, and she she tried to do something horrible. Mm. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. When we feel alone, that's often when we're most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if this brings us any closer to saving the valley, but perhaps now you understand the Forgotten a bit better. The Forgotten's pain is becoming so real to me, I don't think I'll ever understand. How could the Forgotten ever trust anyone again after what Mother, Mother Gothel did? Once all this is over, I'm going to need to have a little talk with her. Trust is fragile, dear. We must beware. Once broken, it's difficult to repair. That's true. Now then, I'm afraid we still don't have all the answers we need. But perhaps we'll find them through this final game. Follow me. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay, off I go. Oh, <laughs> I need to talk to I need to talk to Fairy Godmother first. I got a bit carried away, didn't I? Okay. Well, look who it is. Listen closely, Tessa. <laughs> Beyond the last gateway, you'll find the final lost memory of the Forgotten. <gasps> Whatever happened here, it changed them into what they are now. 
don't think they meant to do any of this. There's no excuse for what they've done. I know I can save the forgotten, I have to. Okay, the night thorns and the forgetting. All of it seemed to be outside of the forgotten's control. Hmm, that may be so. When one is lonely and uncertain, it is easy to lose your way. Now collect yourself, dear. You mustn't wait. Go boldly forward and step through the gate. Oh. And if it gets a bit too much, just know that I will be right here waiting. I'll see you soon, dear. Okay, I'll see you soon, dear. <laughs> I love her little rhymes, the way she talks. Oh, okay. Uh, uncover the forgotten's final uh, memory. What does Scar want? Better talk to him. Ah, uh, he's over there. Right. So I am now in the, um, oops. Uh, oh, oh goody. Yeah. It's you. The tree one. The, um, nurture. Nurture? Is it? Um, ah, at last, you're the only one here who's not a complete fool. Ah, oh, thanks. You're not such a fool yourself. I'm not falling for a scar. What do you want? Ah, oh, just go. What do you want? <laughs> Manners, Tessa. <laughs> now then, I have a small question to ask you. Uh -huh. It seems to me that those of us who are wise, strong, and cunning should take up the ma uh, mantle of leadership. Yes, I agree. That sounds a bit evil. I don't want to rule over anything. Oh, got good, evil, ridiculous distinctions that pompous windbag with the shaggy white mane put in your head. Uh. Unfortunately, there's one minor inconvenience stopping us from assuming power. It's that. That monstrosity there, near the end of the river. You mean the pillar and the orb of nurturing? <laughs> Precisely. The windbag with the white mane spent hours examining it play-acting as if he's trying to understand its power. But I'm certain it's there to watch over us, to keep us in our place, as it were. I guess we could tear the orb out like a tool the one in the Glade of Trust. Uh. Precisely, and that's just what I've tried. Uh. But it seems to feed off the nature around it. If only someone could injure the flora and fauna, Temporarily, of course. Perhaps you'd be able to destroy it. Is he trying to trick me? Like Mother Gothel did. I can't trust him. But I can't trust Merlin either. I'll do it. I'll get that orb out of the pillar. <laughs> oh, I'm in the sunlit plateau, am I? Just thought. I couldn't remember if it was um, there or Forgotten Lands. I was thinking of Forgotten Lands because of the way it is. But, yeah, that one's in... Um, Sunlit platter because I haven't done the Forgotten Land one yet. Um, I knew you'd see reason. If it were me, I'd start by destroying the hideous flowers scattered about. I never have cared for them. You did it. Huzzah. Okay, so crush the flowers around the plateau to weaken the pillar's energy. Okay. I'm guessing this is why it becomes like density um, because I get rid of all the um, the nature So this is obviously what it looked like before, and it hasn't got as much um, grass in that now, has it? Or it's got more, it looks more like, um, sort of deserty almost, with the bones and things everywhere. Um, one more. Ah, never that. Greetings. Ah, you can feel it, can't you? Mm. Whatever that monstrosity is, its power has begun to wane. But there is still more work to do. 
What should I do next? I don't know about this. This better be worth it. <laughs> what should I do next? You know, I have an idea. Oh. I'm sure you've noticed all the strange weeds sprouting up. The night dawns, you mean. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. If we must use that windbag's name for them. Regardless of the... Mon uh, Monica. Uh, I... I rather like them, don't you? Though they do seem to sap the life out of everything around them. Wanting to know more, I dug where you would expect to see seeds, and instead I found these small bits of darkness. I suppose you could plant them and see what happens. Mm. <laughs> Try near the pillar itself, or the entrance to those caverns over there, or that dreamlike tree that Simba Simba is so fond of. I'll be waiting near my den when you've finished the task. Okay. You may leave now. So, okay, near the pillar. So I've got to... Oh, why am I so bad at this today? that counted but that one's not close enough so I'm confused did I not ah okay that's fine that is two <laughs> I thought maybe that wasn't close enough but it's okay So near the giant dreamlike tree and near the mine entrance and the waterfalls. So near the mine waterfalls. That's over here, isn't it? Right, okay. So next is near the giant dreamlike tree. So where's the giant dreamlike tree? Ah, oh, is it over there? Maybe the bridge. Is this it? I'm presuming this is it. Looks like it would be. Right, let's see. Anything to eat? Can I just do one more? Um, what about me? Oh, okay, I need 
to eat something. I can't eat any of this. I should have planted my carrot. Uh, is there anything to eat? There isn't anything I can dig up, is there? Or harvest or anything around here. Oh, I didn't think of that, did I? Didn't even think about bringing food with me. Okay, maybe I need to go and... Go back then. Right, how do I get out of here? Where did I come in over there? Maybe I'll just I'll have to go back and get something to eat. Didn't even think about that. Okay, let me just go and get something. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah. I feel like I'm going to go across here. Oh, was it the other gate? Oh, maybe I was right then. Maybe it is this side. Oh, it was this side. You're I should have kept, so many I should have kept the true. apples on me, shouldn't I? Uh, right, where is a... That bush will do. quickly and take those right. right so let's get back <laughs> let's get back and quickly finish planting those night thorn seeds didn't even think about running out of energy to be honest <laughs> Shouldn't have sold the apples and the blueberries, should I? Never mind. Ah, uh, right, where was I? Over here. got the last memory. Recover the orb of nurturing. Okay. Oops. Where am I going? Where's the bridge? <laughs> Where's the bridge? Turn to Scar near his cave. Okay. There he is. Near the elephant skull. In the elephant graveyard. It's about time. You've done it, brother. Mm. Now, just give that pesky thing to me. The orb of nurturing. What would you want with that? Oh, only for safekeeping, of course. I may not understand exactly what it is, but I know something powerful and dangerous when I see it. He is tricking me. He's tricking me just like Mother Gothel did. You can't trick me. I know exactly what you're trying to do, and I'm not going to fall for it. Oh dear, temper, Tezza. Can't you see that you've already done exactly what I wanted? Look at everything you've broken. The other villagers will never forgive you for this. Whatever done, you're wrong. Uh, 
What have I done? Oh, there's no point in worrying. I can easily fix this for you. Simply let me rule Dreamlight Valley. It will be an immense burden, but I'm prepared to make the sacrifice. Besides, it's really your only choice. Make me king and stand at my side. Or run away and never return. <laughs> I love that. I love that you put that line in. You'll never be king, Scar. I'll make sure of that. Ah, oh, you... Ingrate. In... Yeah, Ingrate. <laughs> After all I've done for you. If you come to your senses, I'll be in my cave. Oh, and that's how he gets trapped in. Okay, so... Talk to Scar. I've done that. Okay, confront Merlin. It looks like he has some more advice to give you. Okay. Oh, hello. Tessa, well, I was looking for Scar, but never mind that. You and I are long past due uh, for a chat. Go ahead, yell at me. I've got nothing to talk to you about. You're just going to tell me what to do like everyone else. Yell at you? Why would I? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not angry. I'm, well, I'm rather worried. Of course, I'm concerned about all that's going on in the village, but it's you I'm most worried about. Well, you don't have to worry, because I'll run away. I'll run away and never return. Please, Tezza, let me explain. You, well, uh, you don't even have to listen if you don't care to. Now, see here. now then, it's only natural that as you mature, there will be parts of yourself you question. Things you wish to leave behind. But there are some things you must never lose faith in. Friendship, love, acts of care for one another. They're the most powerful magic of all. And they're the greatest forces in Dreamlight Valley. Or, well, anywhere. They don't feel very powerful. You don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone. Oh. Ah, I see. Sometimes when we feel cut off from love, from friendship, it might appear that way. But impressions can be misleading. Extraordinary. We all care deeply about you. I promise. Love and friendship are always here for you when you're in need of them. You're lying. You'll never understand. Love and friendship. What joke? Never understand? Perhaps not. But I'll never stop my pursuit of knowledge or trying to aid you. Be careful of the path you're walking down, Tezza. I implore you. Some things never... Some things must never be forgotten. Some things must be forgotten. Look. Okay. And there's the last one. Okay, the last memory, the final memory. I don't know what that picture is. It's not, um, is that that, um, place we saw before? So that's not the dream castle, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay, talk to Fairy Godmother again. Hello, my dear. Well, Tezza, what did you discover in the final memory? Scar tricked the Forgotten into helping the Night Thorns spread, and then Merlin showed up. Merlin warned the Forgotten uh, not to lose faith in love, friendship, and the power of small acts of care, but it was too late. I think he almost got through to the Forgotten. The Forgotten was tired of being lectured to. The Forgotten was too far gone. We mustn't give up. Merlin may have planted a seed in the Forgotten's mind. Perhaps it just needs a little watering. In the final memory, it looked like the Forgotten ran away to a castle. I've seen that castle before. There's another side of Dreamlight Valley, a shadowy side. You can get there through portals. Of course, if you're ever to save the Forgotten, you must venture to the Forgotten's home and face them there. Hmm? But how to get there? Perhaps it's time I consult with Merlin. <laughs> oh, before I depart, 
Now that the forgotten memories are recovered, the orb of remembrance is repaired. Be a deer and return it to the pillar in the forgotten lands while I seek out Malin. Goodbye for now. I will it's see you soon. You soon, dear. Okay, quest started. What's left behind? So grab the orb of remembrance, which is the one in the middle here. After all this time, here we fa we are face to face. I have all these these memories in my head. All of a sudden, you must have seen them too. So you must know what I am by now. You're my inner child, aren't you? You're everything I left behind. You're some sort of shadow of me. Um, don't really uh, some sort of shadow of me, I guess. When I left Dreamlight Valley, I left a shadow, an echo, and that's you, me. How do you know I'm not the real Tether? What if you're the Echo? Maybe you're just the part that moved on. A piece of me that left. It doesn't matter. I just want to help. No sudden moves. I'm watching you. That's enough. Get out of my way. I don't want to hurt you. Really. I want to help. Is that what you think about me? That I'm, I'm some kind of weakling who needs help? Maybe I was. Once. But not anymore. Needing help doesn't make you weak. You put on a big show, but I can tell you're scared. Needing help doesn't make you weak. That's what Merlin was trying to tell you. Caring for others, that's not something you leave behind. It makes us stronger, not weaker. It holds the valley together. Please, let us help you. You think I didn't try to ask for help after that day with Scar? No one could help me. Him. I was trapped in the shadows, alone, lost. It takes all my magic now just to step out into the light. But you're here now. Let's fix all of this. Fix all of this. That's exactly what I've been trying to do. I haven't been hiding. I've been busy. Busy? Doing what? Do you expect me to just tell you my whole plan? Like some kind of, some kind of villain at the end of a movie? If you've got a plan, I can help. I mean, you're kind of giving off that vibe. <laughs> uh, if you've got a plan, I can help. You could never help, because you could never understand. There's only one way to make sure that no one ever gets pulled into the dark side of Dreamlight Valley like I was. Only one way to make sure no one is ever lonely again. I need to rip open the walls between worlds, between Dreamlight Valley and the other side. And now I have the last thing I was missing, the way to fuel the spell, the Orb of Remembrance. Back to my okay. The Forgotten has run off with the Orb of Remembrance. I'm back here. Okay, tell Fairy Godmother what's happened. Okay, where is Fairy Godmother? Um, oh, she's up. Am I going the wrong way? I can't see where she is. Oh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? She's this way. No, she. I'm getting all confused. But oh, right, yeah, I'm kind of wrong way. She's the other way. I'm getting all confused with the map. She over there. Is that her? Yeah. Good. Near the pillar. There you are. Tessa, something's happened, hasn't it? The sky above the valley seems to be opening. Hmm. Wait a moment. What's happened to the Orb of Remembrance? The Forgotten showed up and stole it from me. The Forgotten? Oh dear. 
That's not all. The Forgotten is planning some sort of spell to tear down the wall between Dreamlight Valley and the Dark Side. None of it made sense. Goodness, they want to to rend the fabric of reality, tear down the wall between one world and the uh. next. That's a very dangerous sort of mm -hmm. magic. With just the slightest slip, the Forgotten could destroy everything. You mean all of Dreamlight Valley? Oh. No, I mean everything. Mm -hmm. Dreamlight Valley, the dark side, the here and there, the realms, mm. perhaps even the walking world, waking world. I'll make sure it doesn't happen. I didn't sign up for this. I'm freaking out. <laughs> no lost inner child of mine is going to destroy the universe. I know I can stop mm -hmm. this. It's difficult magic, dear. For now, Dreamlight Valley is safe and stable, but we must do what we can while we're able. Soon you'll have no choice but to cross to the dark side of Dreamlight Valley and confront the Forgotten. <sighs> I'll consult with Merlin on how we might do that. In the meantime, you should do what you've always done. Mm -hmm. Keep taking care of Dreamlight Valley. Oh, goodness me! Okay, so what's left behind is complete. So I guess the next part of the story quest will be going into the dark side, maybe? Um, so yeah, that's quite exciting. And I've still got these to do. I didn't get round to doing the pictures, um, like I said in my last video. Um, but yeah, I need, to, um, I need to do some of these friendship quests. But I think I will round it up here, wrap it up here. Um, now that I've done that, it's gone just over an hour anyway. So that was quite good timing, really, for that quest. So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased that we got that part, the story quest, done. And um, we just have to wait and see what Merlin says, I guess, about the, um, the next part of the story quest. So thank you very much for watching. And um, if you'd like to continue watching my journey through... Disney Dreamlight Valley and see what else I get up to, then please subscribe and make sure you click the notifications on and you'll get notified every time I upload a video. And I'll be back soon with another one. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye!